People in West Virginia are bracing themselves for another round of heavy rain Monday. Parts of the region are expected to see one to three inches on top of already wet grounds. This, as a flash flood watch, is in effect for 21 counties across the mountain state. Several federal disaster declaration counties are under that watch, including Clay, Nicholas, and Webster. Meanwhile, the state's Division of Homeland Security and Emergency Management says a second body has been recovered in Greenbrier County this weekend, taking a death toll to at least 22 people. One person is still missing and presumed dead. WSLS 10 Duke Carter is in West Virginia and spoke to people hoping to salvage what's left. Many people are out here cleaning up the debris left behind from the flood. Others are trying to save a priceless instruments that basically help them make a living. Sylvie Lynn is grieving the loss of her piano. It means my life, my heart. Because this just isn't any ordinary piano. It's a handmade Steinway Lynn has owned for more than half a century. I have played since I was three years old all my life. In fact, the Swedish-born pianist is listed as an official Steinway artist. It's something she achieved through years of hard work. Well, when the water entered her home during the flood, she was devastated to learn her priceless piano was destroyed. And this is my love. I cannot live without playing and performing. Her piano is really an extension of her. Tom Moeller, Lynn's son, says the damage to the piano is irreparable, but hopes his mother will be able to survive without playing. That instrument is directly related to whether she's going to pull through this. And so it becomes a very, very critical aspect of how I can, as her son, can best um, help her through this time. Moeller says right now the plan is to take his mother to Nashville for a break. But in the meantime, he's working on getting folks from Steinway to potentially replace the piano. I have to do everything possible within my power to try to, I can't fix it, but I can put the salve on the wounds. But Tom is hoping to restore the piano, hopefully by next year. In West Virginia, Duke Carter, WSLS 10.